MLB prize picks for Tuesday, May 30th. I'm Sniper from DFS Army, and you are looking at the DFS Army Proptimizer for prize picks, letting us compare sportsbook odds, creating projections off of them, and including our own top props model projections to help you profit on prize picks. You want to get in to DFS Army, click that link in the description. Use the code Sniper20 for 20% off. All right, let's go find some plays for today. Decent NBA video yesterday, but we on, we're on to baseball here as with the NBA final starting. Obviously, soon there's going to be no more basketball games, so we will get into the baseball season and leading into the big NFL push. Cannot wait for that. But like I said, baseball is what's on tap for today. By the way, we're going to actually start things off. It is Taco Tuesday on Prize Picks. If you don't know what that means, it means you get discounted plays all day. There'll be, you know, when the Shane McClanahan one runs out when I'm recording this, There'll be a new one up. They usually post three or four throughout the day. One at a time, you can play up to $25 of total entries using that play. I'm going to use it all in one shot here on this video, but you can break it up however you want. So make sure you're on prize picks. You can deposit there using code SNIPER. Get you $100 deposit match and two free months at DFS Army if you're not already. Always play the tacos. I know... There's been weeks where they're bad, but there's just implied value here based on the lines. There's no reason not to play more five, more than 5.5 strikeouts on Shane McClanahan. Projection is 7. Just play them more. Don't, don't overthink it too much on these tacos, guys. They're not always going to hit, but the probability is there. Now, how are we going to write up the rest of our play? So we have the DFS Army Proptimizer form. I'm going to look right here at Ben Lively. Looking at more than three strikeouts. Look, the three and a half line is what you need to win plus 100 at FanDuel. A little bit of juice to uh, the under. But again, three three is the push here. We're looking for more. And our top props model has this at 3.76. We like this very much. Uh, he's had eight strikeouts. In each of the last two, each of his last two starts, even if he comes back to earth a little bit, we're just looking for three minimum for for the, the push here. Let's go ahead and pull up Ben Lively before I talk about this play anymore. Although I kind of kind of covered, he's at eight in the last two starts. All the more taking on um, Boston who I believe is right – they're actually – they are one of the better teams in the league in terms of not striking out. But, again, I'm just looking for three from Ben Lively, who has been pitching very well. Um, like I said, Armada likes it. I mean, March 19th, I'm not going to – I can say three and two in the last five, but I would just be bullshitting you guys. He's really two and two in the last four. This is really what's important here. And, and these starts, he only went three innings and two and a third. He wasn't stretched out yet. Uh, coming back. So this is the form I'm looking at. Give me Ben Lively more than three strikeouts. All right. Next play up. Where am I going to look? Scroll down. The next one I saw that I liked. You get access to this tool. Updates live throughout the day. Let me go ahead and just. There it is. Kyle Hendricks. Didn't know how far down he was. Use the, use the old control F. Uh, we're looking for more than 3.5 strikeouts. As you can see, line on this one, we have a line for it. All the way up at minus 140 on points, bet minus 135 on DraftKings. You know, it's a pick of a bet MGM, and that's what the good thing about the tool is. It takes various different odds from sportsbooks, combines them into a single number. Uh, overall, it's minus 133, and we're projecting him over four and a half strikeouts. So the model definitely likes this play. Let's go ahead and find Kyle Hendricks more than 3.5 strikeouts. Pull this up real quick. As you can see, he's made it in four straight games. Uh, he gets a matchup here against... Mets. Sorry, let me just I guess the Rays. I'm sorry, the Mets. Ugh. I don't know what I'm talking about here. <laughs> the Mets are, are my team. Dear God help me. As you can see, Kyle Hendricks faced the Mets last time out. It was his first start of the season. Got five strikeouts. Looking for um 
you know, the more than three and a half is what we're playing here. Takes on Tampa Bay, who's right in the middle of the league in terms of striking out. Good start to the season. Mata likes it more than 3.5 strikeouts for Kyle Hendricks. Back to the Proptimizer one more time. Don't have to go too far for play number four. Bo Bichette, more than 1.5 total bases. Line minus 130 DK, 135 bet MGM. Highest number is minus 137 at Caesars. Let's go ahead and find Bo Bichette. Or the 1.5 total bases here. Uh, he's made this four, <clears throat> excuse me, made this four of the last five games. He's hitting 452 in his last seven games. That includes two home runs, 740 slugging percentage. My man is on fire. The odds are there. The projection is there. Bobachet, more than 1.5 total bases. Play number five to look for a little bit. Now, look, on prize picks, let's go to page two here. You should be playing pairs, two picks, five picks, six picks. Threes and fours, mathematically, are bad plays. They just are. Um, so I was looking for a fifth play here, and the one that I came across that I did like the most is um, Marte at more than 1.5 total bases again. Now, look, as you see, the line is not as strong here. Minus 130, minus 125, 129. I would, for those of you who are in DFS Army, this play is going to be a lean, but it rounds out my five pick for this video. It's not going to be our tier three type of play. So those are the odds on this one. We'll look at the recent trends here. As you can see, he's made it for the last five games. He's on an eight-game hitting streak overall, so it's at least one hit in eight straight games. He's got a, a good BVP matchup in terms of a lot of data in this one as well. That's Kyle Freeland is the opposing pitcher. He's 12 for 37 in his career against him, hitting 324, four doubles, two home runs. Kyle Hendrick just gets bumps as I'm recording this video. That is brutal. Brutal. So we're going to go ahead. We'll play um, Marte. Oh, man, that hurts. Let's see. Let's go ahead and go back. So that is Marte more than 1.5 total base. Got to do a little quick thinking here on the fly. Those bumps typically get ahead of them at DFS Army. This one catches me. Kyle Hendricks. Minus 140, 135, 138. Yeah, four. Projecting him at four and a half. We're, we're just... This play is not going to be nearly as strong. So, live on the fly here, I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I mean. I only had five picks queued up. I don't have the fourth one. This is not a strong play anymore. So, I'm going to split these up here. So, let's do a recap. I'll show you how much we can make the play. So, the recap is Shane McClanahan, the taco. More than 5.5 strikeouts. And whatever taco you have available when you watch this. Ben Lively, more than three strikeouts. Bo Bichette, more than 1.5 total bases. Marte, more than 1.5 total bases. How am I going to play it for myself? I'm going to split these up. I'm going to make a pair play here. My price picture, I'm going to calculate. So that is how, that's what I'm going to do with the taco. I'm going to go back in and play, make another pair. Bichette and Marte. And this is just the four pick is not a strong play. I'll just bump down a little bit, a little less safety here. We go um, Marte. So that's what I got for you guys. Hope you enjoy the content. Do me a favor, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Good luck on those contests. It's your daily reminder that whether or not you are a DFS Army member, you probably should be. But one more time, either way, good luck in those contests, and I will see you next time.